in this file on Durham Bar School, we start with the application and there's actually an inspector's report talking about the establishment of the school, explaining where Durham Bar is. So it's on the Tweed River, talking about it being a, for, a farming community, good land and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, people listed in the local community who would promote the local school. Uh, we've got a list of how many students might, might be expected to attend. We've got a map of the school district and where the residents who have children might be living. A lot of correspondence about teachers. They almost feel a little bit like a personnel file when these things didn't exist. Um, here for this teacher, William Tashihi, we've actually got a list of his previous employment and comments to do with his promotions and things like that from 1896 back to 1889. We've got a list of families, number of children who were supposed to attend the school and why they weren't attending often due to the weather or being ill or one because they had a sore foot. Here from 1897, we have um, William Sheehy, resigning this time due to his charge of obscene language in the local billiard room and the inquiry that ensued. Correspondence to do with the school site. So talking in 1901 about dedicating two acres as a site for the public school. There's a copy of the portion plan, the crown plan, and there's the two acres that they're going to dedicate for this school. So the files are listed in our online schools and related records index. They're just called administrative files and they cover those years 1876 to 1939, 1940 to 1979. You can also pick them up through the catalogue so you can pre-order them for the reading room. Because of their varying size we don't offer them through the copy order service but it is something you need to come into the reading room to have a look at. And because there's so much material about teachers and other, other aspects of the school, they work really nicely in hand with the teachers' career cards and the teachers' roles. They work nicely with the school photographs and they also work together with our admission registers, punishment books and the other resources that we've got from some public schools in New South Wales. So only public schools. Um, but well worth a look if you're researching the history of a local community because so often the school is the community and the community is the school.